Ward. Every autumn, the people of Hira Takayama parade their magnificent yatai floats through the streets. The Takayama Festival is a major tourist attraction. On journeys in Japan, photographer and poet Kit Pankos Nagamoto visits the area. I've been to Hira Takayama before, but never in time for the festival. This time I'm here, it's world famous. I'm thrilled. She'll observe the goings on around the festival, which has been faithfully passed down for hundreds of years. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Kid also hops on a bicycle to explore life in the countryside. And she tastes delicious sake brewed by an American. Mm. It's very sweet. Takayama is some 200 kilometers northwest of Tokyo in the Japanese Alps. In the late 17th century, Takayama prospered as a castle town. The city has retained its traditional townscape. before the festival, so I think that they put these lanterns out to celebrate it. Aren't they beautiful? At the popular Miyagawa Morning Market, locals and tourists take in an array of fresh produce and folk crafts. This is, these are amazing. Giant shiitake. <laughs> but I've never seen one this size, have you? Is that incredible? Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Wow. Thank you very much. Check that out. I can be popular just standing here in the street with my mushroom. <laughs> the city's major attraction is the Takayama Festival, which is held in the spring and fall. In autumn, it is dedicated to the god of Sakurayama Hachimangu Shrine. Look at this, incredible. These apparently are the actual ones that are going out for the festival. This is incredible, it's like the Yatai parking garage. The floats, which were crafted a couple hundred years ago, have been carefully preserved. The opulently adorned wooden yatai are raised on wheeled platforms and pulled by hand. Rich merchants competed to show off their wealth by commissioning the top artisans of the day to make the splendid floats. These moving art objects feature intricate carvings, 
gilt and lacquer work, even dolls. Oh, look, and here is Hote. The Hote Tai Float, one of Takayama's most famous, features Karakuri Ningyo mechanical dolls. The puppeteers skillfully and seamlessly handle dolls so they appear lifelike. People, I think, hide in the box underneath there and somehow make these puppets dance. Can't wait to see that. Kit gets to observe a puppetry practice session in an old tea shop. Oh, Puppeteers deftly tug on strings concealed in body parts to control the dolls and achieve realistic gestures. The guardians of the Hote Tai float have passed down these puppetry skills from one generation to the next. Katsuo Nabeshima is the current leader of the 11 member group. Katsuo has been training his eight year old grandson, Aoi. Aoi, who was admitted to the puppetry group last year, is learning to operate the legs of the monk, Hote. The climax of the 20 minute long performance is the moment the child puppet Karako does an acrobatic bar flip. Karako must land on Hote's shoulders. If the puppeteer errs, the doll will fall. It's a tense moment. やっぱりなんたら1年のうちで今がやっぱ僕たちこの子たちがもしかいなかったらもうあと Kit travels on to Furukawa, a nearby town that also retains architecture from the 18th century. Hi, I'm Kit. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thank you very much for coming. Kazuhisa Matsuo, who goes by Hisa, is a cycling tour guide. His company was started by an entrepreneur who fell in love with the region. He wanted visitors from overseas to experience the real Japan. 
The Countryside Tours highlight how Japanese have lived traditionally alongside nature, a wisdom called Satoyama. Kid joins a ride with participants from the Netherlands, Australia, and Hong Kong. Let's go this way. Locals come here to collect spring water to use in cooking and preparing tea. And uh, you can use a cup here to drink it. Wow, it looks really clear, fresh. Mm. Is it delicious? Mm. Yeah. yeah. These rice fields have recently been harvested. So here, um, you can see the rice. So this is after the harvest, and the rice is um, covered with the shell. After it's removed, it's become a brown rice. They become a white rice. Yeah, brown rice has got more nutrition. Then. Vitamin so, B. Vitamin B, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Well, uh, Japanese people normally prefer white rice eh, because it's eh, much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cook uh, white rice eh, and uh, with a small portion of brown rice eh, and cook them all together. Mm -hmm. Then that's why we can get some nutrition too. Lisa has just prepared some green tea. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. The tea. Mm -hmm. It's good. That's really good. Yeah, because of spring water. Oh, that's why. Of yeah. course, it does make a difference. Mm. That's why I just say people use this spring water to make a tea or coffee. Mm. I think that's funny. You can see some of the things you have to get walked backwards. It's just great to get outside and it's invigorating to ride a bicycle through the fields and through the farms. And when Hisa talks, it's incredibly exciting. But sometimes you fall behind and then it gets quiet and you get the real deep sense of peace of being in the middle of the mountains here. Kit is up early to visit a sake brewery. Cody. Hi, Hi. good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Wow, what an incredible building. Cody it's Brailsford here. works here. Yeah. It's um, quite big, I mean. He's a kurabito, or sake maker, at this brewery founded in 1870. By 5 a.m., he and his 30-some colleagues have started work. They are preparing koji rice malt, which serves as a base for fermentation. Here, they are steaming the raw material, rice. Cody is mainly in charge of this process.
Originally from Utah, he moved to Hidetakayama after marrying a local woman. Interested in studying a traditional craft, he seized the opportunity when he saw a position open up at the brewery. Cody is putting the steamed rice, water, and rice malt into a tank for fermentation. How long did it take you to learn to do this? It's about five years. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. Wow. When he started out, he did find the language barrier challenging and sometimes amusing. For example, my uh, senpai or my senior companion, um, they use danda, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, at first, I was all down, down, tomo. Oh. So I was all, what's, what's down? <laughs> you know, so I was thinking yeah. he was being negative all the time, you know. <laughs> down, down. <laughs> Cody produced this bottle of sake. This is Jumai Ginjo. 55%. And you made this? Yes, I made this. This is amazing. It's a kanpai. Mm. It's very sweet, mellow. Yes. Um, how would you describe it? E exactly the same. It has a very mellow but rich taste, mm -hmm. but um, as well, um, but um, it's very crisp. Very crisp, uh, yes. yeah, and no, 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 no acidity and no yeah, aftertaste. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, so. incredible. Is there a position above Kurabito that you're looking to, to well, fill? Well, actually, or? I, I uh, plan on turning, well, my goal is to become a chief um, brewmaster, and so, uh, or a toji. Toji, uh, oh. Yes, and, and so, um, but uh, again, it's by experience and, uh, you know, Years and years of... How many years do you need to... So oh. I, I hope in the next 10 years that uh, I, I can prepare myself. So 10 years down then, the road. Yeah, Good so, luck. so, so oh. I, I hope in the next 10 years that... Uh, Thank you so very much. <laughs> Thank you. You're it was a wonderful welcome. experience You're this morning. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. The Eve of the Takayama Festival. The mesmerizing sound of flute and drumming called ohayashi is heard at festivals. These children are at their last rehearsal before playing aboard the float named the Dai Hachi Tai. The ensemble is made up of five children, aged between three and eleven, and two adults. They practice three days a month. For a time, ohayashi was a lost art at the festival, as the area's population of children had dwindled. But Yasutake Taguchi, a construction company president, revived it. そう昭和 45年頃に録音したものらしいです。
。へ昔の音楽があるんですけれども、はい、現代でそれがあの作るのはどうするんですか。プロの先生に音源を聞いていただいて、うん、そのまま演奏していただいて、うん、それでニュアンスがこうあ違うこうだって,ってやってで決めてからあの楽譜にしてもらったんです。これどのぐらいかかったんですか。トータルの時間はあのその勉強が始まってからあ私ですか、うん、はいえっ、ー、と六年です大質問ですよね、はい、ありがとうございます素晴らしいですいい、ね、本当にありがたい<笑>、うん、I discovered that people are working hard to preserve traditions I think these are traditions that the rest of the world will treasure someday It's not easy to do it in this modern day, so people are working hard to make sure that those traditions survive. But I have enormous appreciation and gratitude for them for doing this. The towering Daihachi Tai. The young musicians have climbed aboard. Hotei Tai's custodians are busy setting up the float for their puppet show. どうですか気持ちはもうドキドキしてる<笑>でも大丈夫だと思うよなんかいい演技を見せてくださいはいはいありがとう Ten floats line the road leading up to the Sakurayama Hachimangu Shrine. Locals are enormously proud of their treasured floats. Dai Hachitai float with the children nears. There's a big turnout for the Hote Tai Puppet Show. Aoi does well, properly controlling Hote's legs.
then the climax. The festival revelry continues into the night. People are transported back in time through the spectacular floats, hypnotic music, lanterns, costumes, and dances. In Hira Takayama, I think that tradition is trending. People from around the world come here to admire the magnificent floats and the beautiful natural surroundings. But equally important, the younger generation here has begun to realize that their treasures are worth celebrating. To reach Hira Takayama, it's about an hour and 50 minutes by Shinkansen bullet train from Tokyo to Nagoya, and then just over two hours by limited express train. Furukawa is a short ride from Takayama by train. The Fall Takayama Festival is held annually on October 9th and 10th. An information stand is set up at the Sakurayama Hachimangu Shrine. Thank you so much. Do you have any pamphlets in English? Yes. Tourist literature is available in many languages. Don't miss out on this delicacy sold at the Sake Brewery's gift shop. The local specialty, Hida beef, is marinated in sake kasu, or sake leaves, before grilling. It's prepared using the brewery's 140-year-old recipe. Mm. <laughs> this is Hida beef. Amazing. So delicious.